Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. On today's base showcase, we're going to be checking out Brew and Lou by Voldrang. Now, it's built next to one of the new giant buildings, which I think is pretty cool, because the giant buildings are kind of trade platforms, hubs of, of commerce, and to build a pub or a, a drink stand next to it is very fitting. So there's the sign, Brew and Lou. And so it's got an outhouse, that's the Lou. Oh, oh my gosh, he actually made stuff to make it look like a, a toilet. I'm going to go into first person mode. Oh wow. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh, you can make the portal smaller. That is such a crazy idea. Oh my gosh, how the heck did he make this? Apparently, oh my gosh, because you can scale things down and make them smaller. Somehow he made a lot of the shapes really small. And he actually created a, a toilet paper roll, a plunger, a t and a toilet. And a base terminus portal is made really small, and that is the toilet bowl. Oh my gosh, that is insane. <laughs> Wow. That is so cool how he made that. That is incredible. That's like the best attention to detail I've ever seen anyone make to make something really small and make it look exactly like a toilet in No Man's Sky. That is that is incredible. I love that. Looks exactly like an outhouse. So let's check out the the stand. It says eats. It's got a neat roof with a flag. And we've got some different decals and stuff for the menu. He's got one of these little robots. I guess it's supposed to be like the server to serve people. It's got, uh, of course, a nutrient processor. Oh my goodness! So he scaled down objects and created a ketchup bottle and mustard bottle. Then these shapes for salt and pepper. How the heck did he make this coffee maker? Oh, I see. So that... Oh, that's a... Uh, uh, a viewing dome. Oh, and he made little mugs all stacked up. Wow. This is incredible. I, I thought this wouldn't be that impressive because it was so small, but the details, the tiny little details are just so incredible and well made. I am so impressed. Wow. That is so cool. <sighs> oh cool, it's got a teleporter. I wonder where that goes. Oh, is this on is this on top of the building? Oh, that is so cool. He built on top of the giant building. No, no, no. Never mind, I'm wrong. This is a floating thing up in the sky that I saw earlier. I don't think this is on top of the building. Let's look look in photo mode. Here is the portal address if you want to come here and visit. Um, oh, yep, it is on top of the, the giant building. Nice. So he built some structures on top of it and made the landing pad. So you can land on here and then you can use the teleporter to go down to the brew and loo. He's also got storage up here and stuff. That is so cool. He's got, you've even got a trade, trade terminal and whatnot. I'm glad they have a back now. Used to be if you had a trade terminal out by itself, it was like see-through on the back. 
Wow. That is so cool. I'm going to go inside here again. Or go inside here. Oh, so he's got sinks. He shrunk things down and made the faucets, the taps. And he's got these holographic panels as the sinks. Man, some people are so incredibly creative. I can't imagine how they came up with all this. Oh, and oh, there's an upstairs. I didn't even notice that. Oh, wow. It's a. I guess this is where the owner sleeps. But maybe it's a. Could be like a hotel room, but I don't think so. I don't think a restaurant would just have one room to rent out. I think it would be for the owner to sleep in. Wow. So incredibly cool. Oh wow, I like these bottles and stuff too. I guess these are the drinks they could mix up. It's got cork. Really looks like corks inside of them. <laughs> So incredible. Wow. So this has been Brew and Lou by Voldrang. It's on PlayStation 4 normal version. Uh, yeah, normal mode. So if you want to see it, you have to be on the PlayStation 4 version, not PS5, and you have to be in normal mode, um, and then go to the portal address I showed earlier in order to visit here. So, I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything's going to be okay. I would like to thank the people who have given to my channel, Shell Owens, Jspot51, and Meg Payton, thank you so much for giving so that I can continue to make daily content. If you would also like to support me, you can do so through channel memberships on YouTube by clicking join or through Patreon at patreon.com slash Mac for a day or just like and subscribe also really helps to support my channel. Thank you.